The bishop considers it his duty to help others. All of us uh, have, uh, have to dedicate ourselves in the way of uh, peace and salvation. Which is why the Polish Jewish Dialogue Committee is awarding the first Polish American bishop in New York City for his help in continuing the conversation between Polish Catholics and the Jewish people. He is very much involved in, uh, you know, relationship between the Jewish community and the uh, and and the Polish Catholics here here in New York. That's why we decided to honor him. Thank you so very much. The committee presents the bishop with a shofar, the horn used during Jewish holidays and special occasions. Biblically, the ram's horn was sounded every 50 years to announce a jubilee year. This means the indentured Israelites would be granted freedom. Proclaim liberty throughout the, world, the, the land and to all its inhabitants thereof. That comes from the book of Leviticus. And so the shofar represents liberty. A liberty Polish Catholics struggle to achieve for themselves and for the Jewish people too. During World War II, Polish Christians not only helped their Jewish brothers and sisters, many died in the cause. Yes, about three million Polish Jews lost their lives during Holocaust, but also another three million Polish Catholics lost their lives during Holocaust. The committee looks to remember the strong historic connection by improving the dialogue between the two faiths. That discussion and the dialogue is very important. And, uh, late Pope and today St. John Paul II encouraged us and inspired us to do that. And as both groups sing a Polish song of praise for Bishop Witold, they get one step closer to connecting their people. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Angusser.